Welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Neeru Tannan from Department of English, VSSD College, Kanpur. We are discussing Paper 3, English Language Teaching. In it, this present module, Classroom Interaction and Second Language Acquisition, has been written by Dr. Devashri Chakravarti. Now, in this particular module, the student is supposed to learn what is second language acquisition, what are the differences between L1 and L2, how important the classroom interaction is, what should be the language for communication, what should be the role of the teacher and how activities can be used for interactive classroom learning. Learning a language is an important thing and when you acquire a particular language that we say that English language is acquired. So in the natural order of learning when you acquire that is all the more important. This holds true for L1 wherein the learner acquires the language from his or her environment. However, in the case of second language learning is done under controlled environment of the classroom. So, this when he acquires language, it is coupled with learning because the classroom interaction plays a very important role in this segment. Language experts are of the opinion that it would be beneficial for the learning process if classroom environment gives the scope to the learner to acquire the language. Krishen, a famous name in this particular field of SLA is strongly advocated classroom interaction for second language acquisition as the best method to supply comprehensible input in low anxiety situations. Krishen suggested that natural communicative input is the key to design a syllabus, ensuring in this way that each learner will receive some input that is appropriate for his or her current stage of linguistic competence. Krishen's view that a number of effective variables play a facilitative but non-causal role in second language acquisition. These variables include motivation, self-confidence and anxiety also. Learners with high motivation, self-confidence, a good self-image and a low level of anxiety are better equipped for success in SLA. The objective of this course should be that it should remove hesitation and should bid confidence. It should provide self-motivation and a favorable environment for language use and development of skills for oral communication and presentations are always important. In the classroom setting, we can expect the improvement of negotiation skills. The teamwork is developed because all the peer group will affect the learning of one person and one person will affect in turn the learning of rest of the students. Opportunities for employing initiative in using the language are there. Development of leadership skills and participation in group activities, it comes naturally. Acquisition of second language has a higher success rate through group work and activities than the traditional mode of teaching and language learning. Now, Mr. Brown indicates in 1994 that interactive classes have the following beneficial features. There is a large amount of pair and group work. Students engage themselves in spontaneous and authentic conversations. Students work for actual audiences and purposes, not for artificial ones. And the task-based activities prepare students for the real world outside the classroom. SLA is the process of learning other languages in addition to the native language that we know. 
but the prominent predominant theory of SLA was developed by the University of Southern California's Steven Crescent. We keep on discussing Krishen whenever we talk about SLA because his theories whether you agree with or you just oppose that it is important to discuss that. So learning a second language depends on the learning experience in a controlled environment of the classroom. In such environments formal teaching takes place to learn the language whereas the same is acquired informally in their native or the first language. What is the role of classroom interaction in learning a second language is to be discussed. Classroom plays a vital role in the impartation of knowledge and when the environment of the classroom is learner centric and interactive it is really really helpful in learning that particular language. L2 classrooms especially they benefit from such environment as it significantly aids in the acquisition of the second language by providing comprehensive language input opportunities of use interest and motivation. It was said by Brown that in the era of communicative language teaching interaction is in fact the heart of communication. It is what communication is all about. While interaction must consist of comprehensible input which allows the message to be understood as well as output which provides opportunities for expression and negotiation of meaning it was said by Krishen and Swain both. Now Swain in the study uh, published in 1995 named as comprehensible output hypothesis asserts that output is also significant and serves four primary functions in SLA. Number one it enhances fluency. Number two, creates awareness of language knowledge gaps. Three, it provides opportunities to experiment with language forms and structures. And fourth, it obtains feedback from others about the use of language. I quote what said by Chapel in 1997. In producing the L2, the second or target language, a learner will on occasion become aware of, i.e. notice a linguistic problem brought to his or her attention either by external feedback or internal feedback. Noticing a problem pushes the learner to modify his or her output. In doing so, the learner may sometimes be forced into a more syntactic processing mode than might occur in comprehension. Unquote. Another important researcher of the field is M. L. Tikko. He speaks of the productive classroom as a place wherein the teacher interacts with the whole class. The teacher interacts with a group of pair or an individual student. Students interact with each other in small groups or in pairs as individual or as a class. And students they work with materials or aids and attempt the task once again individually in groups and so on. What actually Tiku wanted to convey is that that in such circumstances when a student just interacts with other student as one is to one then the production then the language spoken is not that fluent and when he just interacts with the whole class then that consciousness level is not there and then as a mob psychology he speaks and he just contributes a lot. So when you are dealing with the classroom interaction then it is different automatically from the personal interaction. Now language for communication. 
the classroom is a preparatory ground for the student that prepares him or her for the real world outside this is the word a limited word that resembles the outside word if you are confident if you feel that you can contribute and you can just speak in front of all these people then you gain that confidence to face the world outside the class and whenever you go in the real life situation then the problems are less so language has to be employed in practical situation in the classroom also the teacher the instructor should just behave in such a manner that learner should feel that he is exactly facing the situation that he is supposed to face in his or her life interactive classrooms help in implementing the communicative aspect of language in a practical manner the students learn more through interaction than they would with conventional methods language teaching has various methods one such method is silent method where one party there are two parties one is the learner and one is the teacher if only the teacher speaks through the lecture method and students they are not participating they are if the classroom is not interactive then it is not good for particular things particular kind of if it is for academic purposes then it's different but otherwise for most of the thing for fluency for other things it is not that good for other language skills you need an interactive classroom so interactive classroom is always always very very important to make the learner confident to make him a natural leader to just invite him to participate and motivate him to express his whatever he knows about this particular language and to ask more questions as well teacher as a facilitator is there brown points out that teacher must organize and provide security motivate instruct be a model be a guide inform give feedback encourage and evaluate the language learners actually this is uh, including me mostly teachers feel that when you face the classroom you go there first of all speak a proper english that students can understand instantly they just take you as their role model they most of the time they come to me and say ma'am i just want to speak like you i say no you can speak in a better way there are so many things to learn they know ma'am we just want that we should speak like you so this shows that instantly without any efforts from teachers side they take you as your role model so whenever you just there in the classroom you are supposed to be very very conscious about it because whatever you will impart as a teacher as a facilitator those students are going to take it for their lifetime as a facilitator the teacher should monitor the learning process closely and give freedom to the students to negotiate meaning and complete the task second language teacher has to be flexible and open minded a free thinker creator and innovator in order to be a good facilitator as a facilitator the teacher should act as the catalyst initiating the process of learning an esl teacher facilitator should encourage and motivate the students to communicate and interact in the target language irrespective of the errors and undaunted by the noise involved interactive activities for the classroom how many activities can be done and how in what manner language learning can take place only through natural process which operates when a person is involved in using the language for communication inside or outside the classroom communicative activity provides opportunities for positive personal relationship to develop among learners and between learners and teachers it was said by littlewood in his study published in 1981 now what he meant by that that use of appropriate activities is however the primary requisite to make the classroom an interactive one what is the meaning of classroom if there is just a monolingual person if just one person speaks and rest of the class is 
the silent listener, then it is no more different from a video lecture. So classroom experience always, always should be interactive. To assess the aptness of an activity, in uh, the level, interest and desired outcome has to be kept in mind. Games like icebreaker, hangman, memory games, board games, card games, all these things can be employed for each of the language skills or for an integrated one where all four skills are addressed. Even technology can help it in this classroom like you can just show a movie, a piece of movie over there where some scene is depicted. Then you can just invite the class to have their point of view related with that or you can just invite them to enact, to imitate the same thing in their own language. So this way they will just come across, just learn from that particular video how the body language should be used, how the pronunciation should be there and by learning that through the practical audio visual method, it will be better for them that they come and interact and then there comes the role of the teacher as a facilitator that the teacher can just motivate them to come forward and behave in this particular manner as they are going to behave in their real life. So listening comprehension, creative writing, negotiation, teamwork, oral presentation, all these things can be developed through games and interactive activities without being a burden on the mind of the learner. Interactive activities, tasks, projects, games, apart from removing the monotony of a conventional classroom and making it interesting and fun also helps in lowering the affective filter thereby removing the anxiety, self-doubt, low self-esteem or shyness of the learner. Now when we talk about classroom interaction, now finally what do we understand by classroom interaction? Interaction between teacher and students, interaction between students and students, interaction between technology and student. In fact, classroom interaction needs all these kind of interactions. A teacher should interact with students that should be the beginning. The teacher starts the class, gives them instructions and motivates them to come forward, they should feel that they can contribute. They are not the passive listeners. That is very important thing. So the first duty of teacher as an instructor or as a facilitator should be to make them comfortable, make them understand the topic. Unless and until they understand the topic, they won't come forward. Here the question in front of teacher is that when you motivate a learner, he comes forward also. He starts speaking as well. Naturally, the errors are there. Error correction should be at what time? Whether at the time when the learner is just learning and expressing himself. So if teacher is just pinpointing the errors and trying to correct the errors at that particular time. Another method may be that teacher is later on letting them know about their problems and they come forward, speak and then finally afterwards they just think about those problems and try to rectify them. Usually what happens in the classroom that teachers they just mention those problems errors at that particular time. There are various studies related with this. Some are of the opinion that if teacher will not pinpoint the problems and errors at that particular time then for the whole classroom he or she will not be able to remember the respective problem individual problem and then those problems will not be mentioned or forgotten 
some researchers are of the view that this could be done later on in a separate problem solving session the teacher may note them down and later on he or she may individually just pinpoint those problem and try to give them individual attention to rectify these problems now another problem is the cultural differences in the classroom interaction like students they are not of the same capability they are not from the same background also there may be cultural differences and when we talk about cultural differences we can easily feel that it is going to affect the classroom interaction because classroom interaction between is one student and the other student how it is going to affect that if the cultural differences are there so first of all they won't be able to understand it and then later on what will happen that those cultural differences will create another problem for the learner as well as for the instructors because they are from different cultural backgrounds so they will have different nuances and while speaking only thing common will be the language so while interacting with each other if teacher wants that okay they should interact with each other and i should just be a monitor uh, as monitor theory just suggests that there should be more and more interaction and spoken portion from the side of the students so teacher on one part teacher speaks students are listening other part students they interact with each other and they come across with certain points they can just interact in a group also so some students are sitting silently in the group also only one or two persons are just taking the forefront and speaking and interacting so the purpose is not solved the teacher should uh, ensure that each and every child each and every uh, member of the group is participating and coming and interacting with each other and so in that process he is learning while interacting like games like various technology various other teaching tools are being used so really if everybody is getting benefited by it or not that is another issue then the third thing is technology and students interaction between technology and students what is that the technology can help them in pronunciation so they are interacting they are learning that is another thing so they through various games through various slides through various uh, role enactments they can come forward and one very important thing that can take part over here is that they can just record their own audio video and play it in the classroom so like one person's recording is being done rest of the class is commenting upon them and learning as well as pinpointing the problems so when it will happen with everyone then it will not be a matter that somebody is just making fun of someone so it will be an enjoyable game and students will come forward and they will interact and through this classroom interaction through the help of the peer group they will be better learners and second language acquisition will not be a burden rather they will enjoy and in this process they will acquire the second language in a fun way to conclude transforming the classroom into a learner oriented one where the student has the free space to use and experiment with the language through mutual interactions or interactions with the teacher for accomplishing a task or through discussions and question answer sessions help immensely classroom interactions encourages teamwork interpersonal communicative skills negotiation empathy and a sense of accomplishment that develops the learner's self confidence and motivates him to work further on his language skills krishen's theory of comprehensible input and swain's emphasis on output focuses on the crucial role played by classroom interaction in second language acquisition classroom interaction should be productive and contribute to the learning process positively 
creativity and innovation are the keys to employ classroom interactions effectively for second language acquisition. Now, when you just come to know about these particular things, so various questions must come in your mind which you should try on your own to answer like what do you understand by second language acquisition, what role does classroom interaction play in second language acquisition and what objectives are there of, uh, from classroom interactions and how can the second language acquisition or classroom be made very very interactive. This may come from various sources and everybody can just give his or her input that how to make it more and more interactive. Rather it is not a theory, it is not a procedure, it is a technique that every teacher will devise on his or her own in just in the respect of the particular classroom in just considering the capabilities of the learners that what kind of interaction can be devised and how freely he can invite and involve the learners to be active participants. Thank you for visiting EPG Pathshala.